It is a pleasure and honor to introduce our good friend and Full Sail University President, Gary Jones. Mic noise. What a privilege and a pleasure to be here the opening night of the 18th Florida Film Festival. Can you believe it's been 18? Is that amazing? Um, I, I'm also honored to say that Full Sail has been an integral part of this wonderful organization for 12 of those years and the primary sponsor for five. And it is just a joy and a privilege to stand side by side with this magnificent crew that Chris spoke of earlier in bringing films, art, science, entertainment to the world through the Florida Film Festival. And uh, we're just overjoyed to be a part of that here tonight as we have been in the years gone by. Um, thank you all so much for being here. As Chris said so well, uh, you're the absolutely most important element of the whole thing. You're here to take it in, enjoy and revel in the masterpieces that we're going to see all this week. Um, is it just me? Or has anybody seen your 401k or your stock investments drop slightly? It's just me. I was afraid you would say that, Sarah. All kidding aside, isn't it a challenging time out there? For so many people, it is scary. I mean, everything we hear, see, and read about our economy and the world at large is troubling right now. And the economic environment, uh, recession as it's called, is just shaking. Um, it's enough to make a person worry, isn't it? It truly is. Um, in the midst of these uh, trying times, uh, my heart goes out, as I'm sure yours does too, to so many people that lo are losing their jobs, have lost their jobs, may be struggling financially. Um, and with all respect, love and prayers for them, um, we move ahead. We lean into it, as I say, and move forward with believing that things will turn and that prosperity will come our way again. Um, to the magnificent crew, to Siggy and Philip Tiedke, to Maura, Chris, the whole team here that says we're leaning into it, we're moving forward, we're putting on the 18th Florida Film Festival in spite of trying economic times. Uh, our hats are off to you, our hearts appreciate it, and we just thank you guys for moving forward. It's an honor to stand with you in this wonderful 18th year. Just good people. That's what I love about it. You're just extraordinarily good people. Now, I'd like to, if you'll indulge me for just a minute, I promise this won't be very long. But I want to make a couple of points. Against a backdrop of these trying economic times, what is it that people, that everyone, that the masses, that the next door neighbor, that you want to do? You want to escape. We like moments, we like an hour to ourselves, we like to disconnect and just relax our hearts, our spirits, our worries, and just be a part of somebody else's world for a few minutes. And I think that's what the entertainment and media industry is all about. It's about entertainment. It's about taking us places that we don't go by ourselves without seeing life through the eyes of a great director or experiencing the beauty beauty created by great director of photography, right? Entertainment is something that doesn't understand economic good times or bad times. Great entertainment is something that is recession-proof. And in, in historically speaking, uh, the numbers play out. The entertainment and media industry typically has done well during recession. Let me read you a couple of things to that point that are fresh off the press, so to speak, about our current time right now. Um, concerts, tours. Live Nation is one of the biggest out there promoting tours and concerts these days. Their Northeast chairman said in the Hartford Courant on February 19th, quote, we don't feel that the economy has affected us at all, said Jim Copeland. GameStop. Big chain of, of stores that sell games, about 1,600 worldwide.
GameStop plans to open more than 400 new stores this year, 2009. Reuters did an article on them, and Reuters reported, the video game business continues to enjoy robust growth, making it the fastest growing of the many consumer goods categories. Let me repeat that. Consumer goods categories, generically speaking, video game business continues to lead the pack. Juniper Research reported last month that a sharp fall in ringtone revenues will be more than offset by growth in full track music downloads, streamed music services, and ringback tones. Global revenues for mobile music services will reach about $16.4 billion by the year 2013. PricewaterhouseCoopers says that all categories of the entertainment and media marketplace will continue to expand over the next five years. This is a 2008 report. Also expected to experience double-digit growth is television subscriptions and license feeds. What about movies? We all love movies. We're here because we love movies. Fortune Magazine in February, this February, reported, last week Netflix announced it's reached a mark of 10 million subscribers. Revenues last year were up 13%. The stock price has doubled in the last three months in this troubled market. The Wall Street Journal writes, Movie attendance in 2009 is running 20% higher than a year ago as consumers seek lower cost entertainment that is more affordable than concerts or sporting events. And the Boston Globe said, working in their favor is the fact that the movie industry on the whole is showing strong signs of being recession proof. With financially strapped families desperately seeking affordable recreation, the nation's movie theaters just logged their first ever billion dollar January. My point is that the spirit of the human being loves to take trips. We love to journey. We love to be entertained. We love to step inside another world and experience it through somebody else's eyes, through somebody else's experience. Many of us are passionate about these trips. And in my humble opinion, for me, movies is my favorite way to do that. Motion pictures. Because we get to sit down, rest, and let our senses in total take in a story. And isn't that what it's all about? Storytelling? That's what great entertainment really does for us. It gives us a chance to hear a story and listen to someone else's dream life, or experience. Full Sail is proud to stand with 6,500 students today, about 1,000 of them studying the world of making motion pictures. Those students are my inspiration to show up at work every day because they're bringing their ideas, their visions, their view of tomorrow to the table and saying, I, we want to be a part of making tomorrow's movies, of telling our stories in new mediums that include mobile technology. Florida Film Festival, thanks for your passion for movies. Thanks for your commitment to the art of motion pictures, to the beauty of telling stories. From all of us at Full Sail, kudos and congratulations on 18 years. Thank you.